Ah, uh, look who's smoking. Must be Christmas. Gregory, I am a wreck. I am absolutely a wreck. Your father has that infernal train set out, and your delightful cousin Jennifer is here. And then, to top it all off, the maid seems to have switched to menthol. Ah. <laughs> Mother, have you lost weight? No, oh, Gregory, please, that won't work. No, I'm, I'm serious. Well, I, maybe I have. Do I look a little... <laughs> oh, could be. <laughs> come in, come in. <laughs> I don't play with trains, Uncle Edward. I'm not five. Suit yourself, little lady. Here we go. <laughs> woo! Jennifer, dear, look who's here. Your cousin, Gregory. So, uh, Jennifer, how have you been? Just dandy. <laughs> hey, I got uh, married since I last saw you. Huh. I always thought you were gay. <laughs> Now, why don't you two just <clears throat> catch up? Oh, and Gregory, so that you don't tread over ground that we've already covered. Uh, school bites, Christmas bites. Oh, and the, and the sugar cookies over there bite the big one. <laughs> so I heard your uh, mother got married again. She's on her honeymoon with a rich old guy who's been clinically dead twice. Somebody's got a new daddy. <laughs> That's my wife. And the one with the antlers. <laughs> Happy Hanukkah! Did I mention she might bring a few friends over? No, I don't believe you did, Gregory. Can we use your Here's a cookie, Merry Christmas. Here's a cookie, Merry Christmas. Here's a, oh, 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 sir, you dropped your glove. Wouldn't want you to have to come back. <laughs> so were you surprised when we showed up? Not as surprised as my mother. I know. For a while there, I didn't think she was gonna let us in. That's because for a while there, she wasn't. <laughs> Thanks for the nog, man. And have a joyous holiday of your choosing, if indeed you choose to celebrate a holiday at all. And a happy new year, if you people believe in calendars. <laughs> Kitty, are you sure you don't want to come caroling with us? We're going to be in your neighborhood for a while. Well, that's a lovely invitation, Abby, but I, I don't know any of my neighbors, and I prefer to keep it that way. <laughs> okay. Well, sorry if we muddied up your house. But you did turn the sprinklers on us. <laughs> uh, Dharma, I'd like you to meet my cousin Jennifer. Oh! Hi, I'm Dharma. So did you marry Greg for his money? Ooh, open hostility. You know, if you want to become more sneaky at it, just watch your Aunt Kitty. Well, Jennifer is staying with us while her mother is honeymooning in Bali for 10 wonderful days. Like, this isn't hell on a stick for me. Oh, isn't she just a charming cauldron of rage and hormones? Oh, come on, Kitty, you remember 16. Yeah. Well, hate your hair, you hate your skin, your parents just moved into a solar-powered sod hut, and you can't have friends over because your dad's mowing the roof. You know what, Dharma? You are right. Jennifer should not be stuck here with us. She should be with some happening young people like you and Gregory. Dharma didn't say that. Greg, I think it's a great idea. She'll have so much more fun with us. She didn't say that either. <laughs> Gregory, please, you would be doing me an enormous favor. I do not know what to do with a 16-year-old, and I already have my hands full. What do you mean you have your hands full? Uh, hey, Kitty, look, I'm a giant. <laughs> okay, I know what does not bite. Cheesy movie and dairy-free pizza. <laughs> nah. Okay. Uh, oh! Want to go throw this off the roof? I don't think so. Okay. Um, okay. How about prank phone calls? Who do you want to call? The Pope. No, they never put your call through. But I do know someone else who makes you kiss their ring. <laughs> yes, Kitty Montgomery. 
Yes, this is Alice Penderwald. I've been watching you for quite some time on the golf course. And I think you are a very handsome woman. What's going on? She's pranking your mom. Again, Dharma? She's gonna... <laughs> She's gonna figure it out. Frank, she can't even figure out Star 69. <laughs> Two more rings and the machine picks it up. Happy holidays, Penderwald residents. <laughs> yes, sorry about hanging up like that. My husband, Walter, walked into the room. Uh, so, do you want to meet for drinks or just get soapy and go for it? <laughs> Hello? Oh, that was a close one. What if she said yes? Wait, wait I withdraw the question. <laughs> Your turn. No, look, I'm just tired. Where's my bedroom? Oh, all right. Come here with me. I'll show you. Mm. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, what do you think? Are you kidding me? I'm sleeping here? Well, you stinky and nunzio. I'm sleeping with a dog named Stinky? <laughs> yeah, but nunzio's the one to worry about. <laughs> Much he begs, don't pull his tail. <laughs> Whoa! Karma! Jeez. My little cousin's downstairs! Craig! First you won't do it in your parents' bathroom, and then you won't do it in the back of the cab. What's going on? She might hear us. So what? Didn't you ever hear your parents having sex? Are you kidding? I've never seen my father without his shirt on. Craig, she's sound asleep. We don't know that. Well, then let's go check. <gasps> See, she's not listening to us. She's busy. Whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Who are you? Frank, come on. Hi, I'm Dharma. Sorry to invade your space. We'll just get to know you better over breakfast. No, no. <laughs> breakfast? We have rules in this house. Oh, you're right. What was I thinking? Do you have a condom? <laughs> having intercourse? No one is having intercourse in this house. Well, you're right about that. <laughs> you. Shoegazer. Out. Craig. Here's your uh, jacket. Here's your skateboard. Oh, wait. Can I say something? What? Time's up. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, really cool. Can I, I see, see you upstairs? upstairs? God, I can't believe you did that. I can't believe you just kicked him out like that. Well, it's better than handing him a condom and putting Charday on the stereo. Charday? Okay, Barry White. Barry White? Dharma, not everybody likes John Philip Sousa when they're making love. Oh, uh, please! The point is, we shouldn't be encouraging them. Greg, if they're going to have sex, don't you think it's better that they have it here? No, they should... Come up with a plan, sneak out, say they're spending the night at a friend's house. Oh, they should lie! Yes, and if they get away with it, they deserve to have sex. <laughs> that is so sick. No, it's Darwinian. The brightest ones get to breed. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm going downstairs and I'm going to apologize. Apologize for what? Jennifer! 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 The stuff's gone. Oh, man, she split. All right, you stay here. I'm gonna uh, throw some clothes on and go look for her. Okay. I got a condom. <laughs> no, Kitty, I didn't lose Jennifer. I just want a picture of her, you know, for my wallet. Okay, sorry to wake you. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, no, I... Don't know any Alice Penderwald. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> no luck. I looked everywhere. Uh, Stinky and Nunzio couldn't pick up the scent. Oh, they picked up a scent, all right, but only because they rolled in it. Guess who I found in the laundry room? The laundry room? I'm wandering around the city in the middle of the night with Roly Poly and the urinator, and you're. <laughs> 
Hiding in the laundry room. Greg, please. <laughs> Jennifer, are you okay? I'm fine. Who hides in the laundry room? What are you, a sock? Are you done? Yeah. Good. Jennifer, your running away really upset your fellow community members. Now, how do you feel we should handle this? <laughs> Who cares how she feels? She has no say in this. Oh, so I suppose when we have children, they'll have no say in how they're raised. Oh, come on, Dharma. Do you ask Stinky and Nunzio how they should be trained? Well, as a matter of fact... No, no, let's not get into that. <laughs> Jennifer, can you excuse no, us a minute? she doesn't have to leave if she doesn't want to. No, I want to. Okay, if that's what you want to do. <laughs> Dharma, she needs to be punished. Well, Greg, that's exactly what she wants. Then it's her lucky day. <laughs> Don't you understand? Jennifer gets into trouble because she's starved for attention and punishment is just negative attention. So true. <laughs> then what kind of attention do you suggest we give her? Well, I was thinking Jane and I are going to go Christmas shopping. As German tourists, of course. Of course. <laughs> so I thought we'd take her along with us. Wait, because she stayed out all night, she gets to go shopping? No, Greg, because she gets to go shopping, she won't feel the need to stay out all night. So what's the verdict? Dharma's taking you shopping as a German tourist, and let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> oh, like in Sweater? Das ist nice and Puffenswetter. Ja, das sind warm and Puffenswetter, so auf Friesen Hooters. These are very expensive. May I help you? Ja, may I help you? Do you need some help? Ja, ja, Planet Hollywood. Party every night. <laughs> out of town. <laughs> I'm very busy. Are they shopping? Eh, kosten Puffinsvetter. They want to know how much the sweater costs. It's $78. 78 dollars. <laughs> Seventy eight dollars in. Seventy eight dollars in. Costing way too much in Das in einer Donald Trump in Puffenswetter. They say it's a little pricey. Well, the sale table is over there. Cheapen sweaters here's in. Cheapen sweaters suck in much in. They don't like them. I got that. Uh, uh, please, please, um... Is that polar bears are my lunch? I'm sorry? Polar bears? Polar. Polar. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> polar? Give me this. Um, kann ich dir helfen? Fräulein Poopin Mountain. <laughs> we gonna make he big and sticky mit the überbossen. Birthday to your head. Yeah. Man, you guys are nuts. Oh, this is nothing. You should see Siamese twins who share a brain. Hey, that's my idea. Oh, it's my idea. <laughs> hey, I know what we should do. Let's go to Cinnabon as Siamese triplets. Right on. Wait a minute. What's this? Nothing. Did you steal this? Now what do you want? Steal this Puffin Sveta, this Kinderbraten. What? Schmack, 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 this little 
Wiener Schnitt. <laughs> Excuse me, I have other customers. Jennifer, tell them, Stein. Hey, look, I'm sorry, and I feel really bad about this, but they stole this sweater. Nine, 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 nine. nine. They stole nine sweaters. Nine. Does anyone here speak German? Yes, I do. Uh, please, ask them what's wrong. Ich heiße Martha. Wie kann ich Ihnen helfen? Gibt es ein Problem? Suchen Sie etwas? <lacht> Barfignugen? I don't get what the big deal is. The big deal is Jane and I had to sit in that security office and convince them that we were escaped mental patients. <lacht> Stupid German. Uh, 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 stealing is way worse than faking German. Now scrub. Hey, what's going on? Oh, your cousin stole a sweater from the mall. What? Don't worry, I'm punishing her. By scrubbing the floor, it's a little Cinderella, don't you think? Yeah, that's where I got it. <laughs> and after she's done with that, she's gonna sew me a ball gown, aren't you? Dermot, can I speak to you in the hallway? First of all, I'm glad you've realized the importance of discipline. Thank you, but... But you don't pick punishments out of fairy tales. She, Greg, it's not like I locked her in a tower and made some guy climb up her hair. <laughs> Dharma, think back. How did your parents punish you? Well, one time I got sent to bed without meditating, but that's just because I threw a piece of plastic on a compost heap. <laughs> well, you clearly had that coming. So why don't we just ground her? I'd love to, but how do we do that? Easy, you just tell her she can't leave the apartment. How will that make her more grounded? <laughs> wow. Okay, follow me on I'm this. right behind you. Jennifer, you're grounded. Gee, Greg, if it was that easy, everybody would be grounded. <laughs> no phone, no TV, no friends, you're not to leave this house. Oh yeah, watch me. Hey, where are you going? Look. Tell my mother I shoplifted. Tell my Aunt Kitty. I don't care. I'm out of here. No, no, no. You're not going anywhere. You are going to get grounded. <laughs> right? Close enough. What are you going to do? Watch me all night? Everything okay down here? Yeah. It's really late. You uh, want me to take over? Nah. Got my second wind. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I ask why you're sitting there? Because Jennifer said there's never anything good on TV. <laughs> you know, if I wanted to leave, you couldn't stop me. Oh, I'd bust you open like a can of those refrigerator biscuit things. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to go to sleep. Good. I'm glad you finally came to your senses. I'll go get you a blanket. Thanks. Don't even think about it. <laughs> either a bird or the guy upstairs who thinks he's a bird. <laughs> either way, it's dawn. What are you doing? I must greet the dawn. Hello, dawn. <laughs> you are such a freak. And you are the shoemaster general. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Doing what? This. I mean, you don't even know me. Why do you care what I do? I'll tell you why. I will tell you why. <laughs> I will tell you why. What was the question again? Oh, wait. No, I remember. Okay. I care what you do because people should care what other people do. Well, people don't. Well, I don't care what other people do. <laughs> <laughs> but 
what you just said that people Okay, you know what? I haven't slept since I met you, so just give me a break, okay? <laughs> okay, well, thanks for caring. Can I go now? Who's stopping you? You are so <laughs> weird. Where are you gonna go? I don't know, get some breakfast. You wanna come? Yeah, you know what? Actually, I could go for some pancakes. How about German pancakes? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Is it my turn? Hold your horses. I made natural ornaments for everyone this year. Oh, that's ridiculous. You don't put pine cones on a tree. Nicholson, <laughs> for the last time, keep your mitts off of my caboose. You said next time through the tunnel, I get to go. Hey, 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 what's going on over here? He won't let me drive the train. You're not gonna drive my train until you take a urine test. <laughs> you two share or the train's going back in the box and you'll never see it again. Stupid, see? Hello? Oh, Kitty, it's for you. It's uh, Alice Penderwall. Oh, um, well, I'll uh, take that upstairs. It's Jane. My idea. Very good. I'm proud of you. <laughs> now fork over the spiked eggnog. <laughs> 